let's try to find an equation involving g, h, and k that would sort of solve this and uh, make it work. Um, in order to do that, let's see if we can go ahead and add 2 to this by multiplying this row by 2. And so we'd also have to subtract 10 here and then multiply that by 2 get 12. So add 12 here. And then we have to add 2g over here. Okay, so if we to rewrite this, we could say um, 0, and this would be negative 4, this would be 4, and then this would be a k plus 2g at the bottom here. Okay, let's sort of etch this row out. Well, from here, we can actually just, um, we can actually just subtract these rows. So uh, add 4 here, and then uh, we'll just subtract 4 there. And then here, you're just going to add an h. And so here at the bottom, you'd get a, a 0 and a 0, and then you have the k plus 2g plus h, and you can get rid of this. And so you kind of have these three rows in your matrix. This is the, this is the third row. There'll be a 0 over here, of course. Um, now this gets us this equation here. 0 equals k plus 2g plus h, and uh, that is the equation that we were looking for in order to solve this. So, cool.